Hello again, love. Get ready to find out why our games are provably fair. We randomly shuffle the deck before every hand, and we give you a way to check. Then you help us cut the deck, and we give you a way to check that too. After you finish a hand, you can decode the proof and check for yourself that we didn't change the shuffle or cut. We'll take video poker as our example for this video, but the main steps apply to all our games, darling. Head to video poker, and before you start playing, hit the F key, or select provably fair from the menu. This displays the proof screen for your upcoming game. There are two important things to notice at the bottom, the next hash and the next client seed. Go ahead and copy the next hash and paste it somewhere simple like notepad. This value contains cryptographic proof that the deck was shuffled a certain way. We'll show you how to verify it later. The next client seed is a random number that your browser generated, but you don't need to trust your browser. Go ahead and type in your favorite number instead. Whatever number appears here will dictate how the deck is cut. In fact, if you pick a number less than 52, that's exactly where the deck will be cut. Now that I have saved the hash output, I head back to video poker and play my hand. In this case, I ended up with a winning hand. I hit F or select provably fair again to see the game's code. The first hash field is the same that I pasted into my editor and is the result of hashing the source below it. This is the game state at the beginning of the hand before cards are dealt. For video poker, it displays in a list how the cards were randomly shuffled by our engine. The client seed is the same as you saw earlier. Take the number and with a scientific calculator, perform a modulo 52 operation. You should get the same value that was used to cut the deck. This ensures that you have an input on dealing of the cards, which we do not control. In this case, the deck was cut at the 40th card in the list, and your hand was dealt from that point. Now to show that this game state wasn't changed during the gameplay, I must copy the hash source, and I will perform a hash on it. Then I will compare the result with the hash I saved before the game began. Once the text is copied, I select hash externally. This takes me to GitHub's hash page, which we provide as a convenience. Feel free to use another SHA-256 hash if you want. I copy the resulting hash and paste it beneath the starting hash in my text editor. The two should be identical. This proves that the initial order of the cards was not tempered with at the start and during the game. The hash function would not have returned the same result otherwise. Now I can see all the cards that were dealt and how my hand was played out by looking at the final result field. The steps for verification are the same for all of our games. The only difference is that games without a card deck use another way to represent their initial random state and the effect of their client seed. You can read up on that in our description for each game. If you are a serious gambler and would like to verify the odds of our games, you can download all your hands in a spreadsheet and analyze them as well. No other casino has put this much effort in the proof of fairness, and we want to make sure you feel safe betting with us, darling. Ta-ta!